Hi everyone, welcome to the relaunch of Igora Vibrant's Schwarzkopf Professionals Demi Permanent Hair Color. My name is Michelle Oliver and I'm the Creative Content Manager for Schwarzkopf Professional Canada. And it's my pleasure to walk you through what's new, what's exciting, and what is the same out of the new relaunch of our Demi Permanent. So for those of you who might be joining and who have never used our, our Demi Permanent before, Igora Vibrance is your true ammonia-free deposit-only Demi Permanent hair color. It is a liquid color that turns into a cream or a gel, and it is the partner to all of our other Igora products under the umbrella. So we work with our Igora Royal, our Igora Vibrance, as well as our Igora Zero Am, which is our ammonia-free permanent. Today, I'll walk you through all the details as well as some great tips and tricks on how to utilize our Demi Permanent for corrective color, for glossing, and also for white hair blending. So let's get started. With Igora Vibrance, there's always more to create. More is the, the key word here. Our Demi Permanent now provides more service opportunities for all hair types. We also have more neutrals and pastel shades. So with the relaunch, which has happened September 1st, uh, we're really excited to offer some more additional tone directions and expand the palette when it comes to our natural series, which helps us with that extra white hair blending. We've also added some beautiful new colors to our pastels, so those light um, pastel colors for toning over blonde. We also have added more care. So we actually have new integrated bonding technology built right in to our lightest pastel colors, which we know we're using over that light blonde hair and we need all of the care that we can get there. Also new is our sustainable packaging. So a box of Igora Vibrance is now made up of uh, post-consumer recycled materials, so paper and plastic. So that's saving on every bottle and every package that we use and helping uh, with a more sustainable product. And then lastly, what's not new but is the same is our trusted performance. So even though this is a relaunch, the product itself inside the package remains the same. Outside of the addition of bonding, we have the same condition, tone direction, and product performance that we've always had and that you know and love. So those are some of the new things that we're gonna talk about today as we go through the uh, guidelines and some of the technical information so that you can be the most confident with Agora Vibrance behind the chair and in the salon. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is our new package. So just to see that transition from old to new, we have a little bit of a new um, sort of color palette, a bit more vibrant and um, really modern. So you'll see that when that box comes into your salon, as I mentioned, you'll be enjoying all of these benefits that I shared with you, but with that same product um, inside. So something that is new and exciting about this relaunch is we've done some extest uh, and some, excuse me, some extensive research and development testing to really look at the product performance and the quality when working on textured hair. We know that we have such an amazing variety of hair textures in the market, and it's so important, especially when it comes to waves and curls and coils, that we are respecting and conditioning those curls and getting the maximum um, moisture while using any coloration service on that hair texture. When it comes to Igora Vibrance, this actually is ideal. So with that R&D testing, we've proven that we can have the most even color results on all textures from roots to ends regardless of the porosity so even color results that we are able to preserve the bounce and the curl pattern which is amazing even after um, straightening and then to improve the moisture balance so the hair untreated versus treated with igora vibrance is actually a more even balance of moisture from roots to tips and we've also been able to prove that we can reduce breakage by coloring with igora vibrance on all textures so this is really perfect for our market and i just want to get you to take a look quickly at uh, one of the videos that just shows some of the behind the scenes on the looks that we've uh, created for the relaunch along with some of those key features that I just mentioned.
awesome. Those models look so gorgeous. I love, love, love those braids and that red color melt that you see there. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about our demi here. So Igora Vibrance is part of the Igora color family, which means it utilizes the same numbering system and is cohesive with all of our other Igora products, but it really is our go-to when it comes to glossing, toning, color refreshing, and really partnering with those demi, pro um, sorry, our other permanent or semi-permanent products to give that gloss and that shine back to the hair. So some key features when it comes to Igora Vibrance is that it is ammonia free so this is an ammonia free deposit only color that gives you that maximum condition there are lots of care ingredients built into the formula but now even more so um, including that bonding technology it is your ideal product for color melting or dual application. So when I say dual application, that is the Schwarzkopf professional verbiage for refreshing that color on the mid lengths and ends. So when we work with a permanent on our new growth area, oftentimes when we're just refreshing those mid lengths and ends, we choose to go with an ammonia free demi. And that's where Igor Vibrance is the perfect match because of that cohesive num numbering system as well. Igor Vibrance also can achieve white hair blending. And we know more and more in our market now that our clients are looking not always for full coverage, but sometimes for a more natural blended appearance when it comes to white hair um, and possibly less of a line of demarcation and a little lower maintenance. Igora Vibrance has incredible white hair blending. The performance is super high. We have up to 50% white blending with our standard uh, fashion tones, but we also have up to 70% white blending when it comes to our double naturals. So that's really, really impressive for an ammonia-free demi-permanent. It will still provide you with the, um, the natural grow out that you're looking for with just those little white hair sparkling through over time. However, the, the actual performance of the blending initially is so saturated and can give you that really, really beautiful natural coverage effect if you're using our double naturals. But again, just to grow out over time and to have less of a line of demarcation with such high performance in a demi is incredible. So I will share with you how to mix, how long to process, and how to get the best results possible when it comes to that as well. Now, I mentioned our, our care ingredients. The key technology that Igora Vibrance is based on is called a Quaxel technology. This is trademarked and it's basically controlling or balancing the inner moisture levels of the hair using sugar molecules. So they actually help to stabilize the inner structure during the entire coloration process, which actually protects the structure of every individual fiber. It also creates a more clean canvas with the alcohol-free uh, formula, as well as the additional vitamins of vitamin B3 and B5. We're able to smooth out the surface of the hair to get all of that light reflection and the feeling of soft, moisturized, healthy hair in the end. And what this all really means to the hairdresser or to you listening is that the hair is going to feel smooth, it's going to look shiny and feel healthy. And that's where our clients really notice the difference. And that's where as a hairdresser, you can feel really confident going in with Agora Vibrance, even at, as that final color gloss, uh, maybe after a full day of color correction, because you know how much care is in that tube. So let's take a look at the care. Okay, and lastly, when it comes to care, and certainly not least, <laughs> is our integrated fiber bond technology. In the relaunch, so in all of these new boxes, when you see that nine and a half in front of the dash, that's our pastel toner as well as our level 10s. And these will all now have that little hexagon on the box that tells you it has integrated fiber bond technology built in. So all of your pastels, we know we're using these shades over top of pre-lightened hair. We want to make sure that we have the maximum strength of the fibers, and this patented technology reduces hair breakage by 
Okay, so it strengthens the hair from within. Ultimately, the succinic acid that's in the formula helps to individually protect the bonds. So these are those small disulfide bonds between the fibers that sometimes can easily be broken. And with this built into the formula, we're actually able to do, uh, to get a protective layer around each one of them. I like to think of it as like body armor for those bonds. So as the coloration process is happening, everything remains strong and intact. And stronger bonds means longer lasting color, shinier, healthier hair. So really it's a win-win across the board. No additional bonding is needed as well. So there's no adding or having to measure in additional bonding because you already have it in the bottle. So this is going to save you time and money, but also get you the results that you want in one step. So let's check it out. Okay, so we're going to speak a little bit more to the actual technical here when it comes to how to use it. Um, but first of all, let's let's talk about our numbering system. Igora has a universal numbering system. So that means that our permanent color, Igora Royal, our demi-permanent color, Igora Vibrance, and even our ammonia-free permanent color, Igora Zero Am, all share the same numbering system. And what that means is when you pick up a tube and it has that number on it, in all three color lines, you will expect the same tonal result. And that's something that makes it very easy and cohesive to work with all brands together. You could maybe transition someone from permanent to demi and have the same tone direction with a different type of color, or you can marry the two together and refresh the existing color that you have with the same color, but in a demi. And again, know that you're going to get the same consistent result. Uh, so that is really great. So what I'll do now is I'll just walk through our numbering system so we're all on the same page. When it comes to the numbering system, Agora and Schwarzkopf Professional, we have two parts to our numbering system. The numbers that you see in front of the dash and the numbers that you see after the dash. The numbers in front of the dash are very simply the level of the color. So this is universally standard uh, when it comes to the hair color industry with some slight variations, but ultimately we have our level one being our darkest color black. And then going up, you can see on the chart here to a level nine, which would be our lightest blonde or our extra blonde. Schwarzkopf Professional uh, in our Demi line, we have two additional levels. We have the level nine and a half, which is our pastel. That's for any level nine or 10. And we also have a true level 10. And that is your lightest blonde. And it is for that cleanest, crispest, palest blonde. Uh, and that is new to our assortment since last year. So we have all the way up to the level nine and a half and the level 10. When it comes to those numbers after the dash, this is where we really get into the Schwarzkopf language, right? This is the tone direction. This is what color, what pigment is actually in that tube. So really important to understand when we're formulating, especially when it comes to corrective color, or maybe you're trying Igora Vibrance as a new color line. This part is the most important. So when we, we look at the tone directions, the numbers after the dash go from zero to nine. Our dash zero is our neutral. That's our natural tone direction and it's equal parts of all primary colors. So your red, your yellow, your blue, and it gives you the perfect neutral. Then we have our dash one, two, and three. These are our cool tones. So all of these are amazing to help you control excess warmth or get those cool cendre or ash tones in the hair. Our dash one is our lightest cool, which is a violet with a little bit of blue. We call this Sandre. We have our dash two, which is blue, and two in blue rhymes, so if that helps you. Uh, then also we have our dash three, which is our matte or our green. So this is for neutralizing red. So dash one is your go-to for neutralizing yellow. Dash two is your go-to for neutralizing orange, and your dash three is for neutralizing green, or excuse me, for neutralizing red. 
Um, then we move into our warm shades. So our dash four, dash five, and dash six. The dash four is beige. It's like a soft, warm gold. It has an orange violet base, but it's really more of a muted gold. It has a slightly cool undertone and looks good on just about anybody. Uh, we have our dash five, which is our gold or our warm tone direction. Then we have our dash six, which is our chocolate. This is more of a red brown or an auburn tone. Our dash seven, once we get up into dash seven, eight, and nine, these are our brightest shades. Our dash seven is our copper. Our dash eight is our red, like a cherry red. And our dash nine is our violet. But we also put in brackets, um, or we also say here, purple, because the dash nine is more of a fashion tone. It's like an eggplant color. If you compare that to a dash one, that's our more cool, soft pastel violet, almost like the little sister violet, and the dash nine is the big sister violet, so a little bit more intense and more of a fashion color. Now, when you put that all together, you can see here that that number in front is just telling you the level, but it's also telling you the base of the swatch that you're looking at. And then the numbers after the dash, if there are two, you will always have a primary tone and a secondary tone. The primary tone will make up the majority of the formula, about two thirds, and the second tone or the secondary tone is more of a minor tone. Um, so when looking at this shade, for example, 7-57, this would be a level seven, which is your medium blonde with a major tone of a dash five gold and a minor tone of a dash seven copper. This is the most beautiful cowboy copper, <laughs> just this particular shade. Uh, but really uh, an, easy, an easy numbering system to follow and good to have that sort of understanding of it while we work uh, into the rest of the shade assortment. So this is the portfolio overview. Um, I love looking at this because it's so inspiring to me. We have so many amazing colors to play with, including not just those naturals and those beige colors and all of those must-haves, but the bright reds and chocolates. And we also have our coppers and our boosters. And look at all of those pastels. So what I'm going to walk you through is how to use each of the ranges, and then we'll come back to this and chat just briefly about some of um, our most popular shades. All right, so first and foremost, we have our dash zero, dash one, and dash four. These are our natural shades. So that's going to be our natural, our cendre, and our beige. You can see on the screen here, I really love the way that this is laid out. You can see how much blending, the timing, and also what developers to mix with and how to mix. So whenever we're working with this group of tones, um, this is an up to 50% white hair blending uh, performance. So you can achieve up to 50% white hair blending when using these shades. They do last up to 25 washes, so that's really nice to know as well how long that we're going to get and how many shampoos we can, we can go for. And that generally, if someone washes their hair every other day, which a lot of clients are washing even less than that now, but even if they wash every other day, you're almost at two months there. So this is absolutely going to make, um, you know, a great base tone between appointments and also ideal for color melting and dual application. The processing time for these shades is anywhere from five to 20 minutes. And the mixing ratio is one to one with either of the activators. So whether it's the gel or the lotion. All right, natural extras. So I mentioned we actually have some additions to this range. So we've added some deeper, darker levels here and really expanded, um, even in the lighter levels actually, uh, the full assortment so that you have double naturals for all of your clients, no matter the level. And this is really important because we are seeing more and more clients wanting to have a more blended approach to the white coverage, as opposed to that really solid traditional permanent. So our dash zero zeros provide up to 70% white hair blending. And we do want you to mix that one to one with the 4% or 13 volume developer to achieve that blending. The processing time is five to 20 minutes, but the ideal is the full processing time, which is that 20 minutes to get the maximum blending possible. These shades can be used on their own as a retouch application, but they can also be intermixed with other fashion tones to achieve the 70% coverage, or excuse me, blending. All right. 
Um, so for our fashion shades, this is everything else in between. So all of those um, cool tones, warm tones, chocolates, reds, violets, all of these we would consider fashion shades. For these shades, they can achieve up to 50% uh, blending, or if you mix in a double natural, then you can achieve up to 70% blending. Um, so on their own, you can use them with either developer mixed one-to-one, -one, whether that's the gel or the lotion. The processing time is five to 20 minutes. Uh, but if you do mix in that double natural, then we would recommend again the 4%, developer as well as the full 20 minute process to get the maximum results. But these are amazing shades to add as toning, glossing, refreshing. I mean, there's so much that you can do great for color correction and just an amazing assortment of tones to, uh, to work with behind the chair. Okay pastels. I mean, this is where it's at. I know how much blonding you are all doing behind the chair and in the salon. Um, think about how often you reach for that can of lightener and how often we are then reaching for those toning shades. Igor Vibrance has always had our nine and a half series, which is our light pastel blonde. However, in the past year, we've also added in the level 10s. And now with the relaunch, as I mentioned, these will all include integrated fiber bond technology. So when working with our nine and a half series, okay, I just wanna show you quickly some of the swatches. Um, we do have two new colors that have been added. We have the, hang on here, we have the nine and a half dash four seven, which is right here. So really beautiful peach tone. It's a beige copper, so it's kind of like it's not super vibrant. It's that muted but soft, natural looking peach. And then the other one that we added is a nine and a half dash one one. So nine and a half dash one is like that perfect platinum, but sometimes you need a little bit more than that to cool down or cut that extra yellow. So you could probably see just from even looking at these swatches here. The nine and a half dash one versus the nine and a half dash one one. You just have that little bit more cendre pigment there, which will be a game changer when it comes to cutting that last bit of yellow from the hair and you really want to get that neutral end result. So those are the two new shades that have been added. And again, with everything with the fiber bond technology. Now, when you are working with the pastel toners, whether it's a nine and a half or a 10, uh, we do want you to apply on shampooed towel dried hair, very well towel dried and mix your uh, pastel shade with either the 1.9% six volume activator, or we can use the or activator lotion, excuse me, or the 1.9% six volume activator gel. So the lotion will give you more of that pudding like consistency and is great for a bowl and brush application. Or if you're just looking for something quick at the backwash or a quick refresher, then you can use the activator gel, which is beautiful for that bottle application or even thick enough to be applied bowl and brush, but applies very quickly, glides through the hair super nicely. So you have kind of both options with the gel, which I think is really amazing. Thin enough to be in the bottle, but thick enough if you did choose to melt or gloss the hair, you can still use it um, in that application as well. Once we've applied our pastel toner, we're gonna visually process. So anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, and then you're gonna rinse the hair clean and condition and seal with hair sealer. Uh, so if we're working with our nine and a halfs, this is our most pigmented of the pastels and the longevity is about 12 shampoos. With the level 10s, um, because they're so sheer, they're gonna give you that perfect, bright, clean, bright blonde. The processing time is 10 to 20 minutes as well, but the uh, longevity is going to be anywhere up to six washes. We will never go right back to that original raw blonde, but it's just about the main pigment intensity and it will just gradually become lighter, easily refreshed as well as kept up with proper maintenance and our professional shampoos and conditioners at home. Our portfolio overview, so I'm coming back here because I really want to touch on everything that we have to offer in terms of um, the entire look. I also want to share that our swatches now come out of the color chart. <laughs> so with the new relaunch in September, we do have an updated chart with the new swatches and, ooh, and they do actually 
<laughs> they do come right out, which is amazing because sometimes we want to like hold that up to the hair and we want to do a consultation. So um, I think that's really, really awesome. The other thing that you will find are these dots on the swatches and you can see on the full portfolio overview. If you see a red dot, that means that you have that exact same color replicated in Igor Royal. So you have the perfect color match. This just helps formulate. It helps you make choices. Even when you're looking at one color chart, you can still know what's going on in the other and how they can partner together. So I think that's really amazing. The other thing that you'll see is the green dot. And the green dot tells you where you have that exact same color, but in Igora Zero M which is our zero ammonia permanent. Um, what an amazing way you could work from permanent color re regrowth to ends, but if you choose to use permanent at the new growth with our zero M, you have the opportunity for full coverage and lift, but we can use Igora Vibrance to gloss it. So we have so many options to sort of work with Igora under the same umbrella, but really make the choices that are best for the services that we're doing and the clients that we're working on behind the chair. So looking at this portfolio, I just want to call it a couple of things. You can see the naturals um, go from our level one to nine, but our double naturals now go from level three to nine. So we filled in all of those gaps. You really have the full options if you want that maximum white blending. We have our cool tones in our sandres, our dash ones, dash one twos beautiful sandre chocolates. If you have not used these, they are so absolutely beautiful because they're cool with that little bit of warmth behind them. It creates a rich chocolate color, but not too red in any way. So that's the dash one six. We have lots of color correction options here, but I want to call out specifically the dash two fours. These are ash as a primary tone with a minor tone of beige. So when you want that like mushroom blonde or that soft natural base, or maybe you're trying to control some underlying pigment that's a bit stronger, maybe more on the orangey, orange yellow tones, these are perfect. And then if you hop two, two uh, swatches over, you'll see the dash four twos. And it's a subtle change, but that primary tone is now beige with the minor tone being ash. With this tone direction, you get more of that cashew color, that soft sort of creamy tone. So we neutralize excess warmth, but we stay in that beige world, which really makes it so gorgeous for today's blondes, especially as we move further and further away sometimes from those, those super, super ash colors. We have all of the golds, we have the gold coppers, um, but also moving over into our reds and red coppers, we have the dash seven, eight. So it's like that perfect combination of copper with red that gives you that like vintage tone. And absolutely do not forget that 6-99, that intense violet purple can be added into any formula as well, but it's such a perfect violet and a true purple base at that level six. Now, lastly, on the far right, you can see how many pastels we have. We keep expanding this assortment because we know how important the blondes are to you. You can see some of our most popular shades there that we have even in our permanent. So wherever you see that red dot, we have those same toners in a permanent option as well. But here we have pastels in our level nine and a half, our level tens. And then if you just look straight across the top, we have all those level nines, which are beautiful in those lighter levels as well. So lots to choose from. I hope that when you look at this sort of shade guide that you can see the endless possibilities, especially when we see the boosters as well, which I'm gonna go, with, go through with you right away just after a little bit more information um, about our activators. Okay, so how are we using all of these beautiful colors? We have activator lotions. There's three. We have our 1.9% six volume, or sorry, we have activators, three of them, but some are lotion and some are gel. So this first one here is our activator lotion, and this has a special thickening agent, and it literally, like magic, turns your liquid color into a pudding-like cream consistency, which you can see on the slide there with the bowl and brush. So this is perfect for precise applications, like a baby, baby tap root or a color melt, or if you're doing white hair blending, maybe a very, very tiny re, um, retouch application. We can be really precise with this 
thicker consistency, but it's still very glossy, very smooth and easy to um, apply bowling and brush and get through even longer lengths of hair. This strength of activator is ideal more for less blending, so around 30% blending. All right, we also have our lotion, but in a stronger um, activator strength. So we're looking at a 4% 13 volume in the lotion. Still thickens up the product, great with a bowl and breath brush application, um, but has that a little bit higher um, oxygen. So we're actually getting a little bit more of the opening of the cuticle layer, which makes this ideal for white hair blending. It also makes it ideal for bright fashion tones because it can create a soft sort of brightening effect up to one level of lift on those lighter bases. So this is like just a small shift in the natural base that can get that little bit brighter tone or shift the natural in the way of a base break. So really a great option and not every Demi has this. So I would definitely call this out as sort of a hidden gem. It is, of course, your go-to for your white hair blending, but can also get you that little bit brighter color or, like I said, that little bit of lift on the natural if that's what you're looking for. So 30 to 70% white hair uh, blending with the 13 volume or 4%. Now in the gel, we have uh, just the 1.9% six volume in the gel because we are mostly using this for glossing, toning and quick applications. It's your ideal um, activator for the bottle application. So it actually has a slightly thickening gel uh, or gelifying agent that creates the uh, turns your liquid color into more of like a jelly it's very it's very glossy it's very thin easy to get through the hair and perfect for your bottle applications um, it's ideal for quick backwash applications so very quick toning color corrections color melting we also can use both of our activator uh, types so lotion and gel cohesively through the hair. So you may choose to use the 1.9% lotion, let's say as a root shadow, and then melt that lotion into the 1.9% gel to really gloss and refresh those mid lengths and ends. So they're not exclusive from each other. They can actually um, work cohesively together. And again, one of my favorite things about our gel is that it also is possible to apply bowl and brush without being a hot mess. It has just the right consistency uh, that we can still apply both ways. So that makes this very versatile and really your choice, uh, regardless of you know the, the actual type of developer, it's really your choice based on the, uh, the technique that you're doing, which is, I, I think is amazing. Okay, so we also have in one of the bigger back bar sizes, so you will see this bottle as well, um, our clear our 0-00. And this is an option that we have for two different types of services. One is to intermix to dilute. So that's what I'll share here. The second one is to use as a gloss, which I'll talk about next. So first and foremost, clear or 0-00 is totally non-pigmented. So there's zero pigment in there. We can use this as a diluter when mixed in with other formulas in Igor Vibrance to decrease the intensity, reduce the depth a little bit, and really have that control over the, um, the pigment or the shade that we're working with. So think of it, I like to think of it like as a painter, that this is like my white can of paint. If I had a whole palette of color, but you just gave me one little white can of paint, I could add that in and create almost any color imaginable, right? So it really opens up the creative possibilities, but it also helps you technically as a hairdresser because if you reduce the pigment, you can have more control on the speed of the deposit. So this can be ideal if you have really porous hair or you're looking to add low lights and you'd like to control um, the deposit on the mid links and ends, adding clear into your formula, just reduce that depth a little bit, can give you more time to process as well. So with that being said, how do we use it? You can add clear into any color, 
in Agora Vibrance. When you add it to your formula, we want you to add equal parts of your activator. So whether that's the gel or the lotion. So if I add 20 grams of clear to my formula, I will add 20 grams of my gel or my lotion activator. Okay, so a really, really great option. Um, I hope that you try it. It comes in back bar, but you can actually see on the screen as well. It comes in the little tiny bottle, so it can be, you know, find it everywhere, but this one's a great one to keep at the back wash. Uh, okay, so the second way to use clear is as a gloss. I mean, how much do we all know that we need shine? Our clients love shine. We know that it makes our colors look better. It makes the hair look healthier, and clear can be used just purely standalone, simply to add shine. So it has all of those um, vitamins and sugar molecules and all of the good things that Agora Vibrance has is just no pigment. It actually seals the surface of the hair and helps to reflect light, lock in color, and give you all of that gloss. So with that being said, if we do want to just boost the shine of the hair and use clear as a standalone, that means you can see here, there's no mixing required. We can just use it straight from the bottle or into a bowl and apply to the hair. You do not mix it with developer when you're using it um, as a gloss. This is a great option because sometimes we're doing a regrowth application. You might really like the color of the ends, but we want to add that more light reflection and more shine. Our clear allows you to continue with that service of doing a full color application. You're not losing out on any of the dollars or the income or the revenue of a color application by saying, oh, we don't need to do the ends. You still have the opportunity to do clear on the ends and have that gloss all the way through. It can also be an add-on to any haircut service, or if you're trying to gloss the hair before a big event with a blowout, this is a great add-on. Uh, the processing time you can see is 5 to 20 minutes, and then you're just going to rinse and no need to condition because the hair is already going to be sealed and conditioned after. And just to give you a little bit of a visual, because we do get asked this a lot, um, you know, how much diluter should we add when we are trying to dilute the color depth? So this is just kind of a little bit of a visual example where you can see your shades without dilution. Then soft dilution would be 15 grams of our clear mixed with 45 grams of color. So we kind of are always making 60 grams, which is one tube. Um, so we see the dilution is more when the shade is lighter and when we have slightly less dilution if the shade is darker. That is because the pigment content is going to be stronger in those darker levels, so it would require more clear to dilute further. Then you can see a little bit more of a moderate dilution, let's say half and half, 30 grams of your Agora Vibrant shade with 30 grams of your um, Agora Vibrance clear. You can see you're going to get an additional amount of dilution of that pigment compared to the pure form. So anytime when you see those formulas on the left, you can go a quarter of the formula, two thirds of the formula, up to half, and always add your activator um, equal parts proportionally to whatever amount of clear that you add. All right, one of our additional ways to customize, be creative, and really design the shade that you're looking for is to utilize our boosters. I am a little bit obsessed with our boosters. I think like, look at how amazing this palette is. It's just like the most beautiful rainbow of shades. We have every single pure pigment that you could want and they're all intermixable with every shade in Igor Vibrance. And that comes down to your pastel toners. It could be mixed in one drop to just increase the tone direction or it can, these shades can be added into some of our most vibrant colors to make an even more vibrant tone. So really, really fun to play with and amazing to customize um, from soft intensity or to super vibrant. Um, we do have neutralizing and fashion boosters. So that means we have cool tone directions, which are our violet, our blue and our green. So that dash one, one, dash two, two, and dash three, three. But then we also have all of these most beautiful, vibrant, um, intense boosters. So those fashion tones and more in the warmer directions uh, with the gold, the copper, the red, 
and back by popular demand, my friends, if you are a lover of 0-89, which is that beautiful, um, almost like raspberry pink, we have that booster back with the relaunch as of September. So um, really, really exciting news. I'm a huge, huge fan. If you know me, you know I love pink. And yeah, this can be added into your red colors, your light pastel pinks to increase the tone direction. It's so versatile and it can also be used just by itself. So let me, let me share a little bit more how to use the boosters. When it comes to our neutralizing shades, these are generally to control the warmth, right? So we have 0-11, which is very popular for, um, for stylists to add into your cool pastels. So maybe your nine and a half series or those lighter levels, level eight or up. The 0-11 is that violet cendre, so really just helps you cut that yellow. Then we have the 0-22, which usually we're using in the darker levels to neutralize orange. However, if you put a drop of it, it can get you a nice light blue tone if you're working to do more creative work, right? So they really can um, be really helpful and super amazing, whether it's in a corrective way or a creative way. And then also our green, our 0 33, and that's our anti red. So anytime we're using these cool neutralizers, um, we can add them into our formula. We will also add equal parts of our activator. So if I put one gram of my neutralizer, I'll put one gram of my activator to match it. Okay, so always proportional. And then you can see this guide here. This is a little bit more in detail, um, but what's really important to know as you're looking at it is that you can add for the neutralizers anywhere from one to three grams in those level eights and nines, that's our recommendation, to a 60 gram bottle. So if I put a full tube of nine and a half dash one violet toner, and I wanted to add additional pigment to that, then I would put anywhere from one to three grams in with that full tube of my pastel right? But if you go to the darker levels, you can see our recommendation. If it's being added into a shade that's darker and has a higher pigment, well, now I can add more of my neutralizer. So anywhere from 10 to 15 grams at the darkest level. So really, when you look at this guide, even if it might feel a bit overwhelming, all this is saying is you can add anywhere from 1 to 15 grams of your neutralizer, and it just depends on the level to a full tube. And then when it comes to our boosters, very similar situation, but we can add a little bit more because we, we don't risk the overpowering of maybe that cool tone being darker. Now we're just going the brighter the better, bring me on the fashion color. So looking at these, um, so uh, mixing ratios, you can see in the lightest level, if we wanted to, for example, uh, one of my favorite toners is 9.5-98, which is that beautiful uh, blush pink. So if we wanted to intensify that shade, you can see the recommendation on the top for anything level 8 or lighter is 3 to 6 grams per 60 gram tube. So if I use 60 grams of my toner, my blush pink, then I could put 3 grams of my pink additive or my 0-89 uh, booster and always equal parts of my activator with that. Now in the darker levels, maybe I want to go bright, bright, bright red or I want to add purple. I have anything up to 20 grams. So you can see there's lots of options between 3 and 20 grams of your formula being added to a full uh, tube of your base tone. And then again, always adding the activator. All right, now one more way that we can use our, our boosters, and I'm so happy that we have this information and this slide, because this used to only be in our corrective color programs. But today it's part of our, our, our base information because we want to be able to support you for color correction and fillers as well. So these are our pre-pigmentation guidelines. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Schwarzkopf language, pre-pigmentation just means filling. It's when we are going from a very light base to a dark base and we need to fill that hair back in before we apply our final color. This is where we can actually utilize our boosters pure. So that means I can actually apply 0-55, which is my yellow or my sort of marigold tone here, mixed equal parts one-to-one -one with the 1.9% six volume. I can mix that and apply that over blonde or lightened hair and use it as a filler, right? And that goes for your copper and your red as well. 
So how are we going to do this? For the blonde or the lightened hair, the first thing we want to do is just dampen it slightly with a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Ideally, it would be um, BC Bonnet Care Moisture Kick. So just dampen the hair lightly. Mix your booster up one-to-one -one depending on the base. So you can see we have red for the darker bases. We have copper for those medium levels. And we recommend the gold or the 055 for the lighter levels. So we're going to apply the appropriate booster mixed one-to-one, -one, new girl to ends, or at the most porous area first, and then gradually melt up and cover all of the lightened areas. The processing time can be anywhere up to 20 minutes, and then you're going to rinse really, really well with no need to shampoo. Okay, so just rinse until the water runs clear, then you can blow dry the hair or towel dry the hair and apply your final color. So these are really, really beautiful options. Um, they don't have a level to them, so they're going to give you pure tone direction, and that makes them very good if the hair is super uh, fragile or possibly compromised. It can accept that pigment really, really nicely. So those are your guidelines for pre-pigmentation. And we're going to finish off our presentation today with just some reminders of the most uh, popular applications uh, when working with our demi-permanent Icor Vibrance. First and foremost, of, co of course, is glossing. You know, glossing or applying a full head application of a demi-color for that intensity, that shine, and that beautiful demi-permanent coloration. This is, you know, for any client that wants a little less line of demarcation, it could be your base color in between foils, and it's also amazing for that white hair blending. All of our demi-permanent um, options really do not leave that harsh of a line of demarcation. So this really is your low maintenance coloration service as well. Now color melt or a dual application. I mentioned earlier how cohesive Igora Vibrance is really with all of our other Igora products. Sometimes we need permanent color on the new growth. Maybe we do need to lift the natural or we need to um, blend or cover white hair permanently. But when it comes to those mid lengths and ends, it's really all about the shine, the condition, the intensity. Every client wants that shiny hair. So dual application is the perfect match. If we use permanent on the new growth, this um, beautiful model that we saw earlier in the presentation has three different tones of our red tones just melted through the mid lengths and ends, not only as a toner over her blonde, but also as a, as a, um, a melt from permanent on the new growth to demi on the ends. So it's a really perfect option for that as well. You can easily melt with your fingers and create a really nice color melt and color refresh. Lived in. Uh, lived in blonde is everywhere. You will hear it not only from us, from, from your clients, from celebrities, from everything that we're looking at from red carpet to behind the chair. Lived in just means it has that little bit more natural look to it. And to create those results, Igor Vibrance is a amazing option. Whether it's a low light, a tap root, a root shadow, a root melt, all of these little tricks that we do, utilizing Igora Vibrance and not just the color itself, but the options in your developer consistencies and strengths gives you everything that you need to achieve these looks for your clients. And last but definitely not least, our go-to, which is our glossing, pastel coloring, so anything level nine or lighter, or those stronger neutralization or corrective services on pre-lightened hair. Um, so all of the timing is always five to 20 minutes. And we know that we have the longevity for up to 25 washes for our most intense colors. Okay, so I hope that you all enjoyed this presentation today. If you're listening as a refresher, there's probably something in there, a little nugget that you can take away that you maybe didn't know before. And if you're just joining into the world of Igora Vibrance for the first time, I'm so excited for you because I know this is going to be your best friend uh, behind the chair and there's so many creative ways to use it. There's always more that you can do with Igor Vibrance. Uh, so happy coloring and thank you all so much. We'll see you soon.